When are we going to see a, a GoPro Google Glass? What's going to be exciting is you're going to see more of these products uh, working together. You already see it with uh, GoPro and smartphones. Mm -hmm. And uh, people often um, ask me, uh, are you afraid of the smartphone? Is the smartphone going to hurt your sure. business? And the answer is no. The smartphone actually is helping our business because it's killing traditional camera. Well, let's cross that one off the list right here. Yeah. And it's, uh, the smartphone is killing the traditional camera industry, which is um, opening up retail shelf space for GoPro and opening up consumer dollars for GoPro because a GoPro is used in a totally different way than a traditional camera. And then beyond that, a smartphone makes for an incredible um, video remote control for a GoPro, right? Now I can preview and control my GoPro with my uh, smartphone, play back my, my videos and share them directly from the smartphone, never needing to hook my GoPro up to a computer. And then you think of things like glass and whatnot, and the uh, glass-like products become terrific heads-up, hands-free, remote-controlled uh, uh, devices for mm -hmm. GoPros. And I think it's, uh, it's just going to become uh, more and more uh, enabling, and, and, and you're going to be able to use your GoPro in, in, in more versatile ways thanks to these complementary products. What would it need to take for Google Glass to be a serious competitor for GoPro? Well, I think that devices like Glass are going to do a terrific job over time of capturing your first person perspective. Sure. Right? And that's what people um, first think of GoPro. They think, oh, you know, first person perspective. But go and look at the content that you see being created and shared with GoPros. Uh, and look at the perspectives that are, you know, uh, uh, making up the content, and you recognize that this first-person view is one of hundreds of perspectives, thousands sure. of perspectives, right? And um, that's really what GoPro is all about: is enabling this the, the versatility, so that maybe on on a Saturday I'm wearing it on my chest um, skiing. On a Sunday, I'm chasing my kids around with my GoPro in my mouth. On a, uh, on a, on a Monday, uh, I've got it, uh, you know, using it on my car. Um, right. I'm hooking it up to a quadcopter to go do some flyby of, of my family at the park or what have you. Um, hooking up to the dog, trailing it behind the boat. It, it, the list goes on and on and on, and you realize that GoPro is the world's best-selling camera because of this versatility, because it is no one thing to any one person. And it's also the world's best-selling camera for professional production companies on a volume basis because of what enables them to do. So then you, you, you recognize that and that, that GoPro's strength is in its versatility. And then you pull back up to, to a Google Glass and you recognize that while that is very good for that purpose, it doesn't lend itself well to the world of GoPro, which is all about versatility.